so I just left the gym and uh, the, the young man at the front desk, he, he, as I'm walking out, he goes, Hey, can I ask you a question real quick? I'm like, yeah, what's up brother? And he goes, so dude, you, you pull in here in a G wagon. <laughs> I'm seeing like your Instagram thing. It says you've like built four different multi-million dollar businesses and you've done over 2 billion in sales. And he's like, what do you do for work, bro? And I want to share with him, share with you the advice I just gave this young dude. He's 25 years old, sharp young kid, uh, working the front desk here, but he's he's going to sell cars is his next kind of career. Because my friend, how do you crush your life? Like, how do you go to the next level in your life? Like those of you that are hungry and fiery and like wanting to like make some stuff happen in your life and you got big dreams and big goals and like you want to like you want to live a life of significance, of impact. You want to make a ton of money. You want to serve people at a high level. Like you want to really go for it. This is, you're going to love this. <laughs> this will be some great advice for you. And anyway, I told him what I do. My business, I, I help people make money, you know, from their phones. I, I, I believe that entrepreneurship and small business is the heartbeat of the economy. And what I do is I build, you know, everyday entrepreneurs, virtual entrepreneurs. And I teach them how to make money, you know, online and, and so anyway, shared with him what I do. But I, I grabbed a piece of paper. I said, do you have a paper? I did on the back of an envelope, by the way. You didn't have any paper. And so I want to share with you just kind of the formula that I shared with him. And I think this is stuff that if you'll internalize this and if you'll get disciplined and you'll get focused, you can crush your life. You can go, you can, I don't care who you are. I have no college education. I have no professional background. I used to work at a mall kiosk selling cartoon Bible movies. Like I don't, I like, <laughs> it shouldn't have turned out this way, dude. And what I did have, and I hope you have, is big dreams. I had a ton of work ethic. I had a, you know, a good amount of grit and willingness to not give up. And so I hope you have that as well. So here's what I share with him. I said, first of all, and you can write this down on a piece of paper. I'll just kind of walk you through how to do it. I wrote the word poor. I said, here's what poor people do. And I underlined it. And then I w wrote the word income. And below the word income was an arrow down to the word expenses. I said, what poor people do is they make income, pay their expenses. Another way to think about it is make money, pay bills. That's what I did. And I didn't consider myself poor, by the way, but I made money, paid bills. I sold cartoon Bible movies at the mall, made money, paid my bills. And I think a lot of us can relate to that, right? That's kind of the, the way we were taught. So second, next to it, I wrote the word rich. I underlined that. And I said, income with an arrow down below that to the word assets and an arrow down below that to the word uh expenses. So what rich people do is they have an income, their income builds assets, their assets pay their expenses. So think of it this way. They make money, they build cash flowing assets and the assets pay the bills. I use the example with him. I said, let's say you're, you're making three, you know, 3,200 bucks a, 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 a month in your job. And I don't know what he makes by the way, but I said, let's say your bills are 3,000 use the extra 200, we need to start building some assets. So that was the first thing is income builds assets, assets pay the expenses. A way I want you to think about assets is something that generates cash for you every month, regardless of whether you continue to exchange time or effort. I said to him, if you don't come back and work the front desk at this gym, you don't make any money. He goes, yep, you're right. And I said, you want to build assets that will pay you every month, regardless of whether you're, whether you're working or not. I learned this when I was this kid's age, when I was 25 years old. And it literally changed my life. Just the little concept I share with you right there changed my life. I wanted to build assets. Okay, second thing is this. I said there's three steps to wealth. And these are three I would encourage you to write down, my friends. <laughs> you want to learn this stuff. Number one is maximize your income earning potential. In other words, make more money. You know, that's what I help people to do. Yeah, I help people make more money. Keep their keep your income, keep your job, keep your employment, and then I teach people how to make more. Like how do you turn your social media into a money making machine? Turn your phone into a money making machine. But you got to make more money. What I was proud about for this kid is he's leaving the front desk at the gym and he's going to go sell cars. So good for him because the the income potential, the upside potential is way higher. Uh, it's way higher at the gym. Or I'm so sorry, which is selling cars than is the gym. Okay, number one, maximize your income earning potential. Number two minimize your expenses, spend less, pay off your credit card, pay off your debt, pay off your personal, your personal, uh, debt. Like you got to make, you got to maximize what you're earning, make more and then spend less. What most people do, if they're making $3,200 a month, they spend $3,200 a month or maybe even more. If they make four grand a month, they spend four grand a month. If they make six, they spend six. So they, their income is this. If their income maximizes, it increases. Their expenses increase right along with it. There's no gap between income and expenses. You want to maximize and minimize to create a gap. And that leads to number three. Number three is you build cash flowing assets. 
There's a ton of different ways to do this, but the point is, is you can't do this. You can't build cash flowing assets. You can't invest or start a business or whatever it might be until you have a gap. Because you, if you're maximizing your income and you're not minimizing your expenses, there's no gap. If you're making four grand a month, spending four grand a month, you're toast. And you will run on a hamster wheel for the rest of your life. You'll be broke for the rest of your life. And you say, well, I'm making money. No, 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 you're broke, dude. You have no savings. You have no cash flow assets. You have no retirement. You have no, like you, you jump off that wheel, like you're toast, you're toast. And you've got to build reoccurring revenue, reoccurring income that's not based just on your efforts today. It's one of the reasons I got in, I told him, I said, this is one of the reasons I got into my, my profession 16 years ago, it's crazy, is because I wanted to build cash flowing assets. I wanted to build a business, because there's two ways to build assets. One is you can invest money, basically like put your money to work for you, or two is you can build a business and put people to work for you. I wanted to build a cash flowing asset that generated cash and I could take that leverage cash flow Leverage meaning it's not money just based. It's not money based only on my own effort, and I could leverage it again into into investments, and that's exactly what I've done, my friends. <laughs> and it's, it's life changing, life changing. You know, we live in the greatest time in the history of humanity right now. Even with all the freaking craziness going on, it's never been easier in the history of the world ever to get rich than it is right now. To become successful, it's never been easier. So don't listen to the people telling you that it's like, you know like that you're screwed and you can't do it. No, 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 you can do it, dude. You can do it. You just take some discipline. One of the questions he asked me is he goes, how did you discipline yourself when you started to maximize your income earning potential? You minimized your expenses. So in other words, you had some money left over. He said, how did you like discipline yourself to not go spend it? And I said, dude, I said, I think for me, it was, I became so passionate about the idea of assets. I became so passionate about the idea of something that paid me each month. I wanted to build things that were paying me every single month, regardless of whether I continue to exchange time or effort. <clears throat> In other words, I wanted that more than I wanted the car or the clothes or the shoes or whatever. Uh, right now we have this weird like thing going on with all, like, all of our youth. And I can't believe I'm like the old guy talking about like, the youth. But we have this weird thing like where they're all up into shoes, like they're into like Jordan shoes. And they would even argue with you that it's somehow an investment. No, dude, <laughs> it's just not an investment. Like I didn't buy that kind of stuff. Cause I, I, I have a, a, a you know, a, a nice car. I didn't buy cars like this, dude, for years. I was making great living for years and years. And you would never really have known it because I, I was maximizing and minimizing, right? So I could build cash flow assets. Last piece of advice I gave him and I want to give you. This kid's a good kid, sharp guy, the whole thing. He's got a little bit longer hair, kind of a scruffy beard. And I said, when do you start your job uh, in the car? And it's here like in the week or so. I said, can I give you some unsolicited advice? He goes, sure. I go, listen, bro, here's what I would do. I said, I'd go get a really sharp haircut. Like go get a clean cut haircut. I go, I'd shave my beard. I said, I'd be the first one there. I'd be the last one to leave. I'd outwork everybody. And I would go learn the skills. I would put in all the work. I'd have a great attitude and I'd go learn the skills, learn the freaking skills, get good at it. And yeah, I could tell he kind of looked at me like, what do you say about my hair? I go, listen, I'm not saying anything's wrong with your hair. Like you can do your hair however you, however you want. I just said, if I'm starting a new job and it's in sales, I'm gonna be working with the public and I'm gonna wanna really impress my manager and my boss and really impress, impress my customers and my clients and I wanna really go crush it, I go, I'd go freaking get a haircut, dude. That's what I'd do. And I said, I'd shave really clean and then I said, I would learn the skills. I would outwork everybody and I have a great attitude. So, you know, hard work, skill set, attitude, you know? That's what I want to share with you, my friends. Like, show up like you're the sharpest person in the room. <laughs> you know, show, like, brush your teeth, comb your hair, get a sharp haircut. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't wear frumpy clothes, dude. Like, show up looking sharp, look the part, show up before everybody else, show up early, stay late, and outwork everybody. Like outwork everybody. No one owes you anything. So you're there early, you stay late, learn the skills, hard work, and then have a great attitude. People will buy from you. People will join you. People will participate in what you're doing just because they, they like your attitude. They just, it'll be attractive. It'll be magnetic to people. So hard work, attitude, and skill sets are the three, the three keys. But again, look the part, dude. Look sharp. Look sharp. Like, particularly if you're going to be in any sort of a people business, if you're like a coder, you know what I'm saying? Like we like slide pizza under the door to you and like, you don't ever have to talk to anyone. Then you, I don't, you know, you can do your hair however you want, but if you're going to be in sales and you're going to be in marketing and you're going to be out there making it happen in the marketplace, look the part, like look fresh, look sharp and, 
because you want to win people over, dude. You first impressions do matter. Like your the way you come across does matter. Look the part, and uh, if you become super, super, super rich, you can, I guess you can do your hair however you want. But right now, look sharp. <laughs> you know, show up early, stay late. So, uh, man, if you got some value from this, make sure you share this out to your stories and to your page and uh, put the word value in the comment. Got nothing but love and respect for you guys. Uh, I want to help you to accomplish your dreams and your goals. By the way, if you have any interest in partnering with me and what I do and helping you to build, uh, maximize your income earning potential, minimize your expenses, build cash flowing assets, learning how to make money on social media, learning how to make money from your phone, uh, you know, send me a, a private message. I'll be happy to share with you more what I do. All right, nothing but love. We'll talk soon.